limitations, failure, whatever I do doesn't go successful. And everything is just falling apart in my life. That is why I am here. What do you believe that Jesus Christ has done in your life today? Jesus Christ has done a lot in my life. Even I, I've, been, I've been asking God that, God, are you going to pass me this day? But I'm so overwhelmed that my problem is solved and I am delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we thank God for the deliverance that you have received today in Jesus' name. Madam, now that you are delivered by God's word, we would like to encourage you to continue to make God's word the standard for your life. Remember that you need to agree with God's word and have a full trust in him and you will never be disappointed because Jesus Christ is the solution to all fundamental issues of life. So make God's word the standard for your life so that your deliverance will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Amen. Where is your wife? My wife is at home. You pray God loves you so much. Thank you, sir. And I've seen a situation where you begin to serve God. A pastor, I'm seeing you as an evangelist. I'm already a pastor. I retired from immigration service for that. You will now begin the real pastor now. You know it's not written anywhere in your body that you're a pastor. Yes, sir. It's not written anywhere. There is no thing in your body to show that you're a pastor. You are not putting on color. There's no seat for pastor. I'm just telling you things of the spirit. True man of God. So you say you're already you're a pastor, but that pastor is not yet finally confirmed over there. That is why you have not enjoyed the fruit because you have been torment. That's true, man of God. The torment is so serious that you... It's nearly wrong you mentor. You don't know what to do. Everything lay hand is not work. That's true. A pastor is someone who enjoys the fruit of pastor, the fruit of heavenly blessing. Sure. I, well, you are a pastor by ordinary pastor, but I'm talking of divine pastor now. So after your deliverance, Jesus love you. Amen. Because I say God wants to use you. Don't give up, okay? Amen. So I will, I will meet you. Okay? Thank you, man of God. The problem, this is a woman I'm seeing that could strike this problem that you are facing. Because at the beginning, you can see the move was fast, but sure. suddenly the motion stopped. Sure. So I will see you, Pastor. Thank you. My name is Pastor Abraham Abba. I am from Cross River State. I'm a Nigerian. In the course of today's service, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, came to me and asked me about my wife. I informed him that my wife is still at home. And uh, he informed me that uh, he sees me trying to be a pastor but that pastor was not confirmed uh, he said that uh, i have a torment in the calling uh, i can confirm this as true so just just to uh, clarify sir the man of god came to you and prophesied that uh, he sees you doing the work of god and and you've confirmed that you're a pastor is that correct yes i am a pastor and i've been pastoring for nearly 11 years now. So, so what exactly did the man of God say about uh, the fact that you've been pastoring for the last uh, 11 years? Yes, uh, he prophesied that it has been a lot of torment and that uh, that pastoring I started and it was moving fast but suddenly it stopped. Where is your wife? My wife is at home. You pray God loves you so much. And I've seen a situation where you begin to serve God. A pastor, I'm seeing you as an evangelist. 
I'm already a pastor. I retired from immigration service for that. You will now begin the real pastor now. You know it's not written anywhere in your body that you are a pastor. Yes, sir. It's not written anywhere. There is nothing in your body to show that you are a pastor. You are not putting on color. There is no seat for pastor. I'm just telling you things of the spirit. True man of God. So you say you are already you are a pastor, but that pastor is not yet finally confirmed over there. That is why you have not enjoyed the fruit. Because you have been torment. That's true, man of God. The torment is so serious that you it's nearly wrong you mental. You don't know what to do. Everything you lay hand is not work. That's true. A pastor is someone who enjoys the fruit of pastor, the fruit of heavenly blessing. Sure. I, well, you are a pastor by ordinary pastor, but I'm talking of divine pastor now. So after your deliverance, Jesus love you. Amen. Because I see God want to use you. Don't give up, okay? Amen. So I will, I will meet you. Okay? Thank you, man of God. The problem... This is a woman I'm seeing that could strike this problem that you are facing. Because at the beginning, you can see the move was fast, but sure. suddenly the motion stopped. Sure. And I can confirm that that is true. In the course of pastoring, I used to dream and see some of my children fighting with evil spirits. So when I appeared, the evil spirit would leave them and start fighting me. I can recall some of them used to have very long claws and they would put it into my body. And while they are putting it, I'm feeling the pains. But somebody will be telling me that, that normally a man will die, but I will live after this torment. So when I wake up, I will not have anything happening to me. So in your dreams, you've been seeing evil spirits attack you uh, and, and put their claws into you. And tell us, physically, what, what is the effect, the negative effect of this uh, in your life and in your ministry? Sure. The negative effect of these attacks have been very tremendous in my life and in my ministry. Because suddenly, members used to come in my church and they get blessed. Immediately they get blessed. They just live like that. And some of them, when they leave, they enter into a terrible affliction or some of them outrightly die and those that remain will come and accuse me that I am the one that kills them whereas I don't know anything about their death. It has been very very traumatic in the ministry and it, it almost led me to closing down the, the church and the man of God said that I uh, he, he prophesied that I almost got mental. That was true because of all these traumas uh, uh, it was so much for me to be here, so I wanted to close the church at the time against my will, but my wife has been very supportive. So you can confirm everything uh, the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, said to you to be true? Yes, he also said that the, the key reason for the problem arose from a woman. And I can recall when I was a boy that I had a girl that bore a girl to me, but I did not marry her, but I married my wife now. And... Uh, Ever since then, things have been going upside down in my ministry, and it gave me real concern. That was why I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations here. Yeah. Well, we thank God for your life and for the prophecy you've received today. And uh, what did the man of God say, say about from now on, after you receive a deliverance, uh, how you will continue in the work of God? Uh, yes, that is the happy aspect of it because he said that all along the call has not been confirmed because of these traumatic experiences. But now that after the deliverance, I'll be the real pastor. I actually received that prophecy as true. And I also remember the word of God in Isaiah 66, line 5, that says that, my brethren that cast me out because of the name of God and said that the Lord should be glorified because I am a castaway, that the Lord will visit me with joy and they will be ashamed. I thank God for my deliverance. I'm sure that things are not going to be the same again. I'm going to grow tremendously. Glory be to God. Amen. We thank God Almighty for your life, sir. And we want to uh, encourage you now you have received this word of prophecy and indeed the deliverance that comes with it. Uh, continue to stay true uh, to your purpose in life, uh, come rain or shine. Uh, despite snow or rain, stay true to your purpose in life, and we believe God will guide you as you continue in His work and in the ministry in Jesus' name.
Amen. I thank God for my deliverance. I thank God for Prophet T.B. Joshua. I thank God for this particular church. I want to encourage every person to press into it violently because there is deliverance here. Emmanuel. God is with us. Thank you very much. Sir. Uncle, look at your, yes, here, here. There's a serious pain. Yes. Thank God today you realize your mistake. Yes. yes. Mm, you realize your mistake. Yes. Your first attempt of marriage in life, that was the first attempt you made. Yes. You suffer and you pay for it. Yes. I want to see you, sir. Yes, sir. So God loves you. Amen. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Because sometimes when you sleep by that side, it's always a t trouble. Yes. It has affected your kidney. So go and wait for me. My name is Anya Onsaibo. I'm from Anambra State, but I live in Delta State. I see the word of prophecy from one of God, Prophet TV Joshua. He told me that uh, I have a pain on my right hand, on my left hand side. Anytime I sleep, anytime I wake up from sleep, I know my feet pain. Yeah, I can confirm that prophecy is true because anytime I wake up from sleep, I know my feet pain on my left hand side. The man of God said that this pain has affected my kidney. The other prophet I received for the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, he told me that my first marriage has cost me a pain. And I'm paying for that pain now. Look at your yes here. Here. There's a serious pain. Yes. Thank God today you realize your mistake. Yes. yes. Mm, you realize your mistake. Yes. Your first attempt of marriage in life, that was the first attempt you made. Yes. You suffer and you pay for it. Yes. I want to see you, sir. Yes, sir. So God loves you. Amen. Okay? Okay, sir. Because sometimes when you sleep by that side, it's always a t trouble. Yes. It has affected your kidney. Yeah, I can confirm that prophecy is true because the first marriage I want to get married because of my mother said I won't get married to the girl because of tribal. Because of tribal. So I can confirm that prophecy is true. The man of God said that I'm paying for the for the cost of not getting married first. Yes, I'm paying for it because now I'm married for more than one year now plus. I have no kid. And that's what brought me here to TV Joshua today. You're confirming the word of prophecy to be true for your life. The man of God said, in your first attempt in marriage in life, you are paying for it and you, you suffer for it now. And you're confirming it to be true that uh, ever since the time you left the first wife because your mother said she's not from your tribe, till now you, you don't have an issue. Yes. Anytime I wake up from sleep, I know my feet pain on my left hand side. And maybe if I'm driving, I know my feet pain. So I can confirm that prophecy is true. And do you believe that this word of prophecy spoken to you by the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, has brought total deliverance, healing into your life? Yes. I think so that I've, so now I've received my prophet, I know that I've got deliverance into my life. Well, thank God for the deliverance you have received today. We just want to encourage you that now that you have been set free by his word, you should be ruled by his word. And we pray that God will give you the grace to go and sin no more, follow him in truth, and make God's word the standard for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for delivering me. Brother, you were crying. Come. You were crying. When we are about to start praying, I was touched. The problem started when your people say, this is the person you must marry. And you say, no. Yes, man of God. He's true man of you God. You say, no. Only a child of God can say no to this people. Yes, man of God. That your no, since that no, 
after getting married to your choice, you have no peace, no comfort now. Yes, man of God is true. Man of God, please deliver me. Thank you.